Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I thought I would share uh, before I take down my Christmas tree this week. Um, it is Saturday. I have to work all day tomorrow. Um, work in the Harlem Globetrotter thing and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday till Tuesday's New Year's Eve I'm off and then I go back to work on Thursday. So I thought let me show you some stuff I've got going on and then I'm going to undecorate and redecorate for winter. Okay, first things first, so exciting, band-aids, fingers, cracking skin, it's happening. So these are fingertip and knuckle band-aids and they work really well when my fingers split at the top. So I grabbed a couple packs of those. I needed a new shower loofah. I replace these, I try to replace them like once a month um, just because I think it necessary but I needed a new one so I picked it up while I was there um householdy stuff I grabbed some pine saw multi-surface cleaner lemon fresh this is what I use to mop my floors and this is concentrate so I can get like five or six washings maybe even more out of this container and for a dollar I think that's a good good deal and I like the smell of it um, uh, let's go by holidays. I picked up just a couple things left over from Christmas. I got this stuff before Christmas. I just haven't done the haul. But look at these bags. They're so sweet. Oh, this one has little reindeers on it. I just like the color scheme. And I always can use tiny little, tiny little bags. When you give tiny little gifts, they get lost, I feel like. So if I put them in a bag, wrap them and put them in a bag, it makes them a little bigger, if that makes sense. And then I found these. I have not seen these before, but this balloon says ooh, Mary, and you blow this one up and it says Christmas. How fun is that? I'll save them for next year and decorate maybe my desk with them at work. And they had Merry Christmas in red and green, both, but I got one of each. And you blow these up with a straw. So I thought that was fun. I hadn't seen those. I'm not, what store was I? It was a store I don't normally go to and I popped in. Oh, in Newark when I was there they had those um, which is where my cousin lives and it's about 25 minutes from here so not far I'm actually getting ready to go there um, for office supply wise I picked up two of these look at these pens do they look fun or what one is gonna be for me and one is probably gonna be for a co-worker of mine because she likes to write with these two I feel like cello is supposed to be Bic it says Greenbrier but I know, I'll try them if they work. I will give her one and I will keep one for me. Because she likes pens like I like pens. Um, for a craft coming up, I bought these little mini clothespins. I'm going to make um, air fresheners for your car out of felted wool, yarn, pom-poms, a couple little things I'll show you you can use. And you hang them on these little clips and then you put these in your air vent and when the vent turns on it blows the essential oils into your car so i want to do a craft on that and i needed some of those so i grabbed them <gasps> look at this guys i don't know if this is supposed to be out for spring they're elephants on a scarf is that and it's an infinity scarf yes so this is um connected which i don't i like better than the other one but look at these elephants. Are they not adorable? I just think this would be so cute and not overly thick around the neck, but with a nice pretty sweater. I just think that is really pretty and I love these elephants. And I surely hope that they're coming out with other things in this print um, that they do sometimes. I don't need more bags, but if they come out with other product with these elephants I will be so excited so it's super pretty and it's lightweight even though I would wear this in the winter time not a problem it's not overly tight and bulky to wear indoors for the winter time okay um I got some cat things let's do that so I don't know if they'll like I mean I know I need these I love these I'm gonna tell you if you have cats or little dogs these bowls are great. I have the purple, the teal, and now the pink. Um, I get them in twos because I have two cats. Um, the bottom here, this is rubber. 
So when they're eating and the floor, it's not scooching across the floor and they're not making a mess. It kind of just sticks to the floor and it's got a little bit of a weight to it. So I put their wet food in these and I run them right through my dishwasher and they're great. And I think these are perfect. They would also hold water, but I have two cats that's a little small. Um, but this works perfect for wet food for them. So I have two more. So now I have... I have a set of Ray Dunn that are in glass, which I have one over there that my niece feeds the dog in. I need to wash that. And so I have four days worth of bowls because I give it to them once or twice a day. And I'm tired of using my kitchen bowls and plates don't work because they eat and they lick it off onto the floor and it's gross. So it's bowls for them. So yeah, I'll probably grab some more when I see them. But for now, that's what I got. I found this fish. It does have a bell in it. Um, no catnip though. So what I'm going to do is, um, if you can see here, those seams up here, those little, um, stitches, I'm going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to pop this thing open and I'm going to stuff it with some catnip and then I'm going to sew that little seam shut. I can get the catnip probably to go all the way to the tail and then my boys will go crazy for this. I should have probably gotten two, but I think one is sufficient. But yeah, any of these little, um, squishy, there's you know, stuffing in them. You can bust them open on any seam and then put catnip in them and they're gonna love it. So I need to do that with this toy. They had this one, they had a short one and they also had like a goldfish. I think they'll like this fish. So I grabbed this and then I found, and we're gonna open up this. It is a suction cup. So I can stick it on my kitchen floor and then this is just a ball that will boing and I'm hoping Alex likes it. We'll see. Let me see if I can get it to stick to this bowl. No. Well, there's a tag in the bowl. Let me pull the tag out. And then Oh yeah. And then they can <laughs> they can just boing it. If it sticks to the floor. If not, it's okay. Um most likely if it doesn't stick, I will unscrew the ball and see if he'll play with that but I think he'll like that and it's just a sweet little basic you could also put it on a wall and they can come and boing I always look for stuff I feel like they get bored when I'm not home to entertain especially Alex he and Wellington play that isn't an issue but Wellington definitely sleeps more and, and is not as active as Alex I mean he is 10 years older than Alex so I try to find stuff I think Alex will like. I got this for Sarah, and I'm probably going to give it to her for Valentine's Day. And it says, love my dog a latte. And it's a magnet for her fridge, and I just love it. I think it is totally adorable. It's a little coffee. So most likely I'll give her this and some dog treats, and then I'll give her some coffee for her. So I thought that was awesome. So I bought that for Sarah for Valentine's Day or her birthday actually her birthday well her birthday is on the 10th and then Valentine's Day is on the 14th so for one holiday or another she'll get that and then for Addison my little cousin who I put on the ugh, I've got sequency stuff these are little slap bracelets I remember these when I was in school but these have the mermaid glitter on them or the mermaid sequins so I thought she would have fun with that today so I'll just take it to her and she can do what little girls do play with it um all right let's do valentine's day stuff i love these signs i'm not doing the darn thing to it and then they had one with the truck but i have the truck but i really love bicycles so i thought this would be fun and honestly i could hang it but i'm probably just going to lean it on my mantle you know in february because i'm going to decorate for winter and i'll show you what I bought and then I will show you when it's done. Uh, I didn't get around to doing a Christmas tour, but I think I can do a winter tour. And I think in February, I'll just sit this on the mantle and it will go with the colors that I want. And I just think this is so nice and just delicate and plenty plain and kind of pretty and not overly glittered. Um, the red is a little glittery, but it's not like super glittery. So I love that. And then speaking of the red truck, and they do have it out for Valentine's Day. And I like this a lot. This is, it's glitter, but it feels like it's glitter, like glitter adhesive and not 
sprayed on glitter, like glitter paper glued on, which is different, like a vinyl. But it's really cute, and this is definitely going to get put out for Valentine's Day, uh, most likely on my cabinet up over there. But I just thought this was sweet. Yeah, it is. I can see right here, this has been taped on, and the glitter is part of the of it. But I just think this is sweet. It is so adorable. You could hang it, but I'll probably, again, set it up on my surface, on a surface. They had a lot of new stuff this year that I just don't remember from last year. Um, these are keychains, but I may just hang it to decorate. But it's, the again, the mermaid sequins. And they had them in, this is red and white, and I think they had them in pink and black, maybe? I don't know. There was another one. Definitely had red on it, and this one is the pink. And it's double-sided, which I like. And I also appreciate that this is just kind of tacked on. And I can take this tag off. It would totally work as a keychain, but it's a little big for my liking. Actually, I could hang it in my car. But we'll see. Ow, my knee. I'm getting old, guys. So I thought these were sweet. I just picked up one of those to show you. And in the same vein, they have these little bags. You know, I love little bags, but... This one does the pink and silver, and the other one was red and black. And um, they're just little zipper pouches to put stuff in. You could put a little gift in here, like maybe um, that magnet and a Starbucks gift card would be a fun little gift for, you know, a teenager or a young woman, adult in your life. And this is just adorable. And it's pretty decent quality. I just grabbed the one, but they, again, they had it in the red. I found the heart-shaped wooden. These are wood stickers. The red ones are glitter, then the plain wood, and then the pink. And I like these a lot for decorating. So I grabbed a pack of those. I don't remember seeing these last year, but they're just the little burlap sacks. And I grabbed one of each. So they got the pink heart and the red heart. And there's a three-pack, so I would get six in here. If I decide to do a, something for my work, I can grab more. Um, because I think I would need like 16 of these, but these are sweet little, just little drawstring burlap sacks. And they would be a good classroom or teacher gift, uh, co-worker gift, cute little grandkids, fill it full of some candies. Let's see how big they are. I feel like they're equal size to the bunnies. Yeah. Oh, they have a double drawstring. Oh yeah, that's a nice little size. Decent quality. I mean, the stitching is there. Again, you could do some candy in a gift card or like this little magnet could slide down in here and little things. Oh, I think these are super cute and would be great for like an office gift too because that's what I typically buy for. And then I found these that I know they did not have these last year. These are fortune cookies. They're the fun foam. They're made out of the foam. And there's a little fortune in each one. And you just pull the fortune out. I mean, it's adorable. Oops. Okay, well, I'm going to have to glue, <laughs> glue that back. And I also wanted to see how to make these out of paper. So that'll help me. But it's just hot glued. So I'll just glue that back together. But if you pop it apart, you can take out this, which says, uh, you will have a fun adventure. And these would be so fun in a little classroom gift if you're trying to go non-candy route with those little toys and stuff. And they come in a 10-pack. But I'm going to try to make these out of um, craft paper and put my own fortune in them. But these are adorable, so I need to fix that one. And I will probably, you know, somebody will get these. But I do want to try to make my own out of Valentine's paper. And they come in red and pink and red and white. And there are 10 in each one. And that would be super cute for a classroom. It, again, if you're trying not to do like food items, a little fortune cookie, and they have all kinds of little um, trinkety stuff in the Valentine's section. So we did that. And then um, I bought this pan. Look how sad it is. It is all banged up. These are not the best quality, but it will serve its purpose. I'm going to cook a turkey in it that I bought. Um, and I put these on a baking tray. I do not ever, from the Dollar Tree, try to pull a turkey or put something heavy in this and have it come out without breaking. So I will put this on a baking tray and I carry use the baking sheet to manipulate, you know, move everything around. 
Now for my mantle, I'm going to do white, greenery, and gold, and some like maybe silver accents or metallic accents and a lot of greenery. So I bought these. Look at this vase. Just the texture. It's a bud vase. It'll hold one piece of greenery. I grabbed one of these that'll hold some greenery. I grabbed this one in the clear, but look at the basket weave. How pretty is that? And then I don't have to do anything with this one because it's the white with the gold. And it actually was in the Christmas one. I have a reindeer, but I got this one. It's just snowflakes, which I think would be perfect for winter. And then I'm on the hunt for gold candles, two pillar gold candles. And I bought some of this white tempera paint and I'm gonna water it down and pour it in, especially this one, and try to paint these from the inside out and make them like milk glass. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll get the spray paint out. And the same thing with these. I want them to be white and they don't come in white. So I'm gonna run them through the dishwasher because I can feel like oil on them. So they're all gonna go through the dishwasher and then I'm gonna try to paint them. This may not be enough, but I wanted to try it first. I have other white paint, but uh, this is just tempera. And we'll see if I water it down a little bit and put it in here, especially like I said, this one, see if I can't get it to um, paint the inside. If not, I'll get the spray paint out and spray paint the outside of those. But those are, that's enough. My mantle's not huge. Well, my mantle's pretty big, um, but I have other stuff that we're gonna put up there and make it pretty. And I have a greenery that's staying, that's hanging off the mirror. I'm looking at it cause it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. But first I need to take down Christmas and then we'll do winter. And the last things I picked up are more, oh wait, one more thing. And then the rest is like kitcheny holiday decorating stuff. Guys, look at this. These are the storage bins and this is a big one. Let's open this up. So I'm gonna use it. Um, I'll put the buffalo check one away and I'll probably put like blankets for the cat or something down here or their toys for the, I have a lot of toys for the cat and the dog. And I just thought this was super fun if you had a child's room and it comes in, oh, that is nice and big guys. That'll fit in a regular size cube. They had, this is like a cream peach color with the gold stars on it. How adorable. And it even has a little um, pull tab. So we put it in a, in a cube, you know, you can, and I might even just stick it in a cube and fill it full of junk we don't want to look at, right? So I have this, they had it in the stars. They had it in some diagonal stripes and maybe some kind of swirly, I think, but they had them in different ones. And my store is already coming out with the spring, like that spring fling thing that they do with all the storage containers and stuff. They didn't see any white though, and I'm a fan of the white. And I was looking for those gold baskets, but I didn't find those either. All right, so for kitchen entertaining type stuff, I found these, and this is definitely not a Greenbrier brand. But these are um, freezer tags, fridge tags. It says freezer, but it's 500 freezer stickers and what you do is open it or rip it apart is what I'm doing. Oh, they're just little dots. They have the dots um, and you just write the date on them and then they have the little square thingies, but you put your date on it and stick it to your containers. So if you're freezing food, you'll know <laughs> I mangled this thing. Uh, your freezing food, you'll know when you put it in the freezer. And then you can peel it off the container when you take it out. So I thought those were great because I'm always freezing stuff. Um, for decorating, look at that. It's gold and silver. And I wish it was white because I'd put it on my mantle, but it's not. And it's just a boa. I won't wear it. It's going to be for decorations for that fictitious New Year's Eve party that I'm not having this year, but might one day. And I felt like gold and black was the thing to do. So this is super cute. And I think this would look awesome on a table. So that'll go into some decorating container. And I found another package of these picks. I've been on the hunt for these. They have the little gold ball and they're nice and long. And you could do like cheese skewers or like um, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, some basil on these. They're nice and long and only pokey on one end. And I love the gold detail 
and you get 24 in here. So now I have two packages of these to put in with my, I'm not really having a party party bin. <laughs> these I'll keep out. These are called sandwich picks. They're a little longer than a regular toothpick. And again, you can do like cheese and salamis and all those different types of foods. Or if you're serving finger foods, um, you can just put these in a cup and people can reach and then put an, another cup for them to throw them in when they're used. Um, but I like these because they're thicker and longer than a traditional toothpick. You can also craft with these or make signs to put on top of your um, cupcakes. You can make cupcake picks out of these. There's lots of things. Most likely what I'll do is use them to hold my wraps when I make a, like a salami wrap for lunch. I use things like this to hold them until I eat them. So I grab those in the biodegradable because they're wood. But I need those in my kitchen. I was out. Um, oh, and then I found these as well. Again with the length. These are just the traditional sandwich picks. But you can also use these on like a buffet or put shrimp shrimps on these if you want to do individual foods. I'm super obsessed with charcuterie braising boards and these things come in handy. Um, I grab some almonds and some pecans. So for me when I bake I don't need large portions so even though pound for pound this is not a good deal. Wasting is a worse deal so if I just need a little bit of some pecan or a little bit of almond this is the best way for me to buy it and then I just toss these in the freezer. I need to get some walnuts too because I only make small batches of things. So these are perfect for me. I found this and I'm kind of surprised at the quality of it. It's a cutting board. It's white. I love to have white serving containers, serving boards because everything matches even though you don't buy them together. Everything matches when you when when all your serving platters are one color. So put this out on a board with some cheeses on it because I'm forever doing cut up cheese and meat trays. Again, I'm obsessed. But for a dollar, this you're not gonna beat this. So I have this one. Excuse me. And this is what I'm talking about. So I bought this cheese board at Target. And this is ceramic. This is plastic, but when you just, when you put them out and decorate everything matches because all the things I buy are the same in the same color family everybody's a shade of white even though they're not exact um it works you can even put like bread on here to cut up or you can make little olive tray on here or you could use it as a cutting board it's sturdy I'm shocked actually that it was a dollar so that's awesome that'll get put away um I use my cheese board when I make so this is supposed to be to like just serve cheese on but honestly this is a serving platter for me and it says ohio on it which i love and i would put ohio cheese on this sorry i'm a little obsessed like, did i mention that i'm obsessed <laughs> oh my knee and then i need to see a doctor about this knee soon and then the last thing i got let me just peruse my floor yes the last thing i got were a couple of these serving platters i am headed to my cousins in a little bit in like 20 minutes for the football game and we're eating and i wasn't sure which tray i wanted to bring this says season's greetings and this is just plain i'm just taking all of the cookies i didn't use up this season and brownies for dinner and i'll probably just use this clear one and then I can just leave it there. That's what I do. If I'm traveling, I'm obsessed also apparently with plucking off the hat. If I'm traveling, I'm going to somebody else's house with food. I love to bring them in these kind of containers that I don't have to worry if it comes home with me. Throw it away. It was a dollar. If I forget this, who cares? Nobody. If I bring it home, great. I'll wash it and use it the next time. But if it gets left there, it's not a big deal. And I'm not giving up one of my good serving platters, you know, like my, or forgetting it and not going back to it or having to coordinate times to go get it. These are great. And in the party section, they have deviled egg ones too, which are wonderful and all different sectioned ones. They have great stuff for one or two time use. I mean, obviously this is not grandma's china, but it works. All right, that's everything. Um, if I get this little project to work, I will bring you along. Probably what I'll do is test it on one piece 
and see how that works but it has to be washed first and see how that goes i'm just trying to get them white and i'm starting to think if i paint them from the inside out and then i put greenery and it scratches the paint off maybe i am better off washing them and spray painting them on the outside because there's going to be greenery on the inside we'll figure it out guys i'll bring you along all right guys and go bucks hopefully when this appears they will have won the fiesta bowl and on their way to the national championship right all right guys you have a good one have a happy new year bye